Stephen Colbert Savage's Ganny West Trump Twitter professed Donald Trump. We know Jesus walks with him, after the rapper professed his love for the president on Twitter, amid the flood of posts which angered fans. You don't have to agree with Trump but the mob can't make me not love him, Ganny tweeted. We are both drag and energy. He is my brother. I love everyone. I don't agree with everything anyone does. That's what makes us individuals. And we have the right to independent thought. The props flattered Trump, who retweeted the post, adding, Thank you Kenny, very cool. Speaking of independent thoughts, Stephen Colbert had some of his own. I don't know if you've checked Twitter today, the Late Show host told viewers Wednesday. But right now, my Twitter feed is just tweets from Donald Trump and Kanye West. West tweeted, My MAGA hat is signed, followed by 30 fire emojis, Colbert said. Now, that is fitting, because that is how many times I would set the hat on fire. The comedian also joked his tweets were an attempt at making a play to be Trump's new communications director. He could just change his name to Kelly and Kenny, he cracked. But on a semi-serious note, Colbert wanted to offer some advice to the rapper Brother to Brother, referencing Kenny's earlier tweet. Put the phone down, Colbert advised he deemed their Twitter exchange a total brofest and advised viewers to look for their new album, EA and Sleazy. Colbert concluded by congratulating Trump on securing the coveted Kanye West endorsement. That is not easy to get. Right now it's just you and Bill Cosby innocent, Colbert said, in reference to a 2016 tweet from Mr. West, which appears to have been deleted. Trevor Noah was also confused by the social media sweet talk. I don't care how long I wait, that will never soak in, the Daily Show host said. I don't even know what happened here. He did offer a possible reason for the famous artist's affections. I think Kanye West just realized he's too rich to not be Republican. Noah also saw a bright spot in their friendship. I'm not a fan of what's happening here, but I am glad it's happening before Kanye's new album drops, he told his audience. This way. Trump can make it into the video for Bound 3. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be worth it. As a reminder Bound 2 featured some very intimate moments between Kanye and a topless Kim Kardashian West.